Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Aquatico. Brand spanking new game straight out into, well, alpha. Early access. Um, I think there's a demo out that you can try over on Steam. I'll link it down below, as always, in the video description. But I'm going to check it out for you today in this uh, early early version the developers very kind, kind enough to send me. Um, Aquatico is an underwater city building uh, game. Um... And I've checked it out for a little bit just to get a hang of things, and uh, it's pretty good, guys. I think we're in for a little treat here. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Now, it's very limited at the moment. It is the first version, alpha version out. So there are some things that are kind of locked away and not available in this version, but we'll do our best. Um, I'm going to call this place the ultimate uh, uh, underwater city. Uh, it's a bit easy. I suppose it's a bit obvious. We're going to go with Atlantis. We can choose a banner. Um, so I don't know. There's loads of little things here you can choose from. Quite a few. I think we've gone around in circles now, though. I quite like that one. You can have it in various colours. Yeah, it's going to be in Deglo green. There we go. Atlantis. Uh, at the moment, the only um, map available is the Shallow Reef. Everything else is sort of to come soon. But you can see the scope of kind of um, various maps and stuff that are in the works and coming soon. So it's pretty good. Uh, here we can mess around with the settings and stuff. So, I, may, I mean, I'm going to mostly just keep them on sort of as they are, really, just so we can kind of get a flavor of the game. One thing that I have noticed about this game is the absolutely awesome soundtrack. It is just spot on Subnautica. It's really good. It's really good. I mean, you sell a good quality game by how good is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is good. It's a good quality game. Okay, so we've got a, basically, this is the map, and a bit like Farthest Frontier in a lot of ways, where you've just got to sort of select a place on the map where you want to place your sort of town hall as it were this is called the subsurface base um and we've got a, a sort of legacy down at the bottom here which tells us what means what um i mean this ready area is can't build on here building occupied is yellow which we can't see of course fertile area is the green which makes sense crude oil rich areas the sort of sort of tan brownie kind of areas radioactive areas in the purple we don't want to be anywhere near there or rich areas in the pink and i have to admit I'm not seeing that. And Abyss, the blue, which I guess is some unbuildable areas. Yeah, all rich areas. The only the only bit of this that I can't seem to figure out is, is all rich areas. But um, maybe it's the map. I don't know. But I don't see any, like, pinky areas. Is that pinky? Is that all rich pinky, do you think? Because that almost looks like that red. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, uh, choose a location on the map that, you know, you like the look of. That you think could work. Now... The fertility area, obviously, bright green is good. The sort of teal color is all right. Um, so, you know, this area down here, for example, would be would be good because there's a lots of green area where we can set up sort of underwater farms. That's right. We're going to be setting underwater farms here. I'm going to go with this area because it's right next to some crude oil. It's right next to some what I think are like ore deposits, maybe. I, I could be wrong there. Um, I think it's the wrong color for that, but, you know, I, I don't... I'm not sure where else we would go, to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and place that here. There we go. All right. So welcome, CMA leading the underwater colonies. Great responsibility. We win new Atlantis initiative. Have no doubt you can handle it. Going underwater is our last chance of survival. Since the asteroid hit, made the surface uninhabitable. Focus on the production of plastics for construction, fuel for heating, and food for people. The cold winter currents will strike soon. Build a beacon of civilization and give hope to mankind in these hard times. Follow the tutorial to learn how to build and organize your underwater colony. Okay, cool. Well, the tutorial side of things, like I said, I've been through this already. So I'm going to see if I can wait to turn that off so I can talk to you about it. All right, so the tutorial is off. Now, I paused the game. Uh, we can do that really easily just by tapping space. But up here, we've got all of the resources that we can collect and manufacture and stuff throughout the game, starting with just currency, food, medicine, basic goods, which is a, um, a, a parent sort of ca category for clothes, furniture, and decorations. And then you've got luxuries like cider, beer, jewelry, holocom, and spice, and a lot of that I don't really know. There's different tiers as well. There's tier two on that one. Uh, wine, brandy, hollow mine, perfume, gold jewelry, fashion, clothing. Then we've got batteries, sponge. Took me a while to figure out what the hell the role of sponge was, but I would say sponge is kind of akin to wood, I suppose. <laughs> it's needed in almost every construction. Um, plastic, tools, iron, stone, quartz, glass, and concrete. 
and then just below that we've got the happiness of the influential points how many drones we've got and the number of residents our oxygen production fuel production crude oil production and electricity production so we need to keep all of these like small ones here in the positive here while also building up the resources at the top and keeping these guys happy over here and um, also well managed now in the bottom right hand corner we've got our various constructions and build menus and stuff like that now i apologize if it's really small the tutorial basically takes you through the initial process of, of setting up things like heating electricity plastic production and stuff like that so first things first though i think what we're going to need is some food production to feed uh, our people so we got a food production down here we can get a gatherers place which is basically your foragers right um again i'm going to draw a lot of similarities here with with other city builders i've built recently most recently farthest frontier because it is in a lot of ways very similar uh to that game it just set in a completely different environment as you could tell <laughs> <Duh. laughs> So we're going to put a gatherer's place. We're going to put it near coral reefs and stuff, because that's probably where we're going to do most of the gathering. Now, we've got various speeds at the bottom here. We can speed up two times, three times, four times, even eight times. And um, as you can see, they, they go off rather speedily to build that sort of stuff at eight times speed. Now, of course, if the disaster strikes or there's a problem, you want to slow that right down or even pause it completely um, to, to carry on. Right, so we've got our gathering place. What we probably want is a sponge collector, which is basically your wood, wood collecty place. Uh, let's be honest here. <laughs> it's just got a different fancy name and a different fancy outfit, basically. So we move that around and we get some highlights and we can see the efficiency. 97 there. Over here is 115, 117 just there. 117 still. Uh, we do want to space things out a little bit. So it looks like 117. Any advances? 120. 120. Any advances? 120. 120 going once. Going twice. Go in there. Lovely. Okay, there we go. We just basically got to auction off every single thing we build, just like that. There's the sponge collector. That's going to get us this resource here, which, like I said before, you need to produce pretty much everything. Everything. Um, right, so we're now getting complaints that no gatherer drones have been placed in buildings, and that's fine. We just need to go to this panel here, where we've got even more options. <laughs> go to the job board and just tick this little box here, which says automatically assigned workforce. Okay, there we go. Now, obviously, you might not want to automatically assign workforce, depending on how kind of available, I suppose, your workforce is. Um, the other thing we've got is research. Um, we can't do that just yet, because I think we've got to actually, like... I don't know, that doesn't actually say what the prerequisite is, but there is a prerequisite we've got to fulfill before we can do any researchy stuff. Funny enough, it's not actually a research place. So anyway... Um, so we'll have our sponge collectors working, we have our gatherers working, those are the most basic introductory resources here. Uh, so then we just basically work across the bottom of the production line here, right? It's all here laid out for us. Oil platform, fuel refinery, plastics factory. Okay, we set those three up there. Then we have our fuel production and our plastic production. And we can hit this grid color here to see where the best place is to set up our uh, fuel refinery and again we can move around and find try and get the best efficiency 100 percent is the best we can do um i would like to set these things up in like a line and set up a real production line of them so i can either go up and down or along so i think along is good but let's let's build right here next to these rocks first of all and then i can build a couple that way and then we can go that way so let's get the um fuel pump here refinery built that's going to build up nicely. I do like that we've got drones, but you notice how we've only got 12 drones. And what is it about drones? They can't reproduce like humans do. So once we're out of drones, and bear in mind that's using a drone, that's using a drone, this is now using a drone. Um, yeah, we're going to be we're going to be a little bit in trouble. So let's get a fuel refinery. We're going to put that outside of. Um, outside of the area where there's crude oil, just to leave that sort of space open, as it were. You notice this has got no link. It's got no pipeline network. It's got nothing to pump anything to at the moment, so it's fine. All right. So these guys, come on, produce for their plant and cut. So they basically chop down sponge and plant sponge. These guys, I think, you know, are the, are the newbies. You click on the little sponges and you can see it what age it is, whether it's useful, <laughs> whether it's got any parasites. It's cute, kind of cute. All right, 
and there we go so now these two right what we got to do is we've got to link them together so we go to infrastructure we go to pipe network we place a hi um two new people have arrived okay well they're going to be homeless for a bit so and we're just going to build a pipe over to these two and they connect a little surface little pipe to the elevated pipe and now those two are connected this is going to be pumping the crude oil out and then refining it next up is the plastic factory itself and this is as you can see a bit of a monster a bit of a gigantic monster um again i don't want to put it on the area where there's crude oil so that we can actually get some pumps going right so we're going to place it over there Gonna have to, the drones are going to have to clear out some sponges that are in the way. Yes, go, my little drones. Clear the sponges. Take them. Use them. Wash with them. <laughs> Whatever you do with sponge. <laughs> it's honestly, it's a little funny little resource. Right now, these people are complaining they don't have a home. So we're going to build one of the big things of this. This thing is absolutely monstrous. This thing is going to go slappity doo -dah right there. Right in front of our little town hall. I figure that's probably one of the better places to put it. Who knows? We've got four people complaining they're homeless. Now, in order to build these people homes, you don't just build them on the sea floor. No, 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 no. The sea floor here is for production buildings. All right? All the residential stuff takes place on elevated platforms. Because why not? Uh, right. You, sir, have a pipeline right there and you need to integrate with the current existing pipeline like that there we go so basically you'll end up developing a single pipeline around your entire um civilization eventually okay now our, our thing here is complete we hit tab and we have a whole new array of buildings and stuff to build for the elevated platforms including the first uh first chappy here a house so let's go ahead. I'm going to just yam him right into the corner like that. And we're just going to build across the, a bunch of houses. And they fit in beautifully like that. A nice row of houses. They'll build up. These guys will stop being homeless. Now we should be able to actually research something. Uh, still can't research something. And I don't know why. Our civilization over here requires the fuel that we're producing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a pipeline to that as well. And then three new drones, lovely. Resources required, oxygen. Right, we need an oxygen generator. That's kind of important. Uh, research oxygen generator. Okay, got a slight issue here because there we go. Right, tidal turbines are now unlocked. Oxygen generator is sure. So I, I think basically you have to complete the uh, habitat domes before you can start researching. There we go. Okay, minus 25 oxygen. We have little hearty things appearing everywhere. People are going to start dying soon. This is not good. This is not good. Come on, research faster, damn it. Five days, 20 credits to research. Turbine done. Oxygenator on the way. Now we can build some electrical turbines. And these guys are part of the power grid here. So, um... Again, I don't want to put them on the crude oil stuff, so maybe what we can do is put them along this this section here. Shouldn't be hurting anyone. Just go ahead and build a couple. Straight away. We'll need them connecting soon. Our oxygen generator should now be buildable. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and place that again outside. Crude oil areas. There we go. Minus 25 oxygen. <laughs> no. Don't die, people. How much oxygen have they got in their tanks? 65. They must be sweating bullets right now, I tell you. Uh, right, we need to line up the each of these guys. So we're going to have a pipe, 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 and then pipe all the way along that. And then from the middle one, we'll just join that up to that main pipe network there. And like I said, you're going to get a pipe network building everywhere. And then we need that connecting to that as well. And there we go. Everything is connected now. Should be producing oxygen plus 74. Oh, phew wee. All righty. Well, there we go. Now we can continue with our research. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a battery factory. And then shortly after that, we'll get the drone factory. 
and so on and so forth. And the research just goes on and on and on. And all the way at the end. <laughs> Subsurface base five, concert hall, missile launchers. <laughs> Gold diamond fashion, large parks, orchard greenhouses. So this hopefully gives you an idea of the scale of this papa. This thing is in alpha and it already has quite a lot going for it. Right, what are you complaining about? You're at 80 efficiency. Why? You need 144 barrels. You're only producing 120. If I hit a production boost, it gives it a little cheeky upgrade. It's now producing 144. I won't be able to give it another production boost until we can start producing tools now. Uh, the battery factory is still coming because we're on one time speed. Let's speed things up a little bit. Now, one other um, aspect very similar to other games is the gathering thing down here. Clear buildings and gather. So you can tell it to gather all resources, gather sponge, stone, iron, plastic, or demolish buildings and demolish stuff like that, or cancel gathering. Um, so we're going to tell it to get some um, stone, iron, plastic. There's just a little, there's a chunk of iron just right there. It looks a bit like garbage. Um, and I suppose that makes sense considering we're under the ocean of the earth, which is just had an absolute massive climate disaster so oh sorry no it wasn't a climate disaster i take it back it was an asteroid <laughs> climate disaster is too political i don't know whatever anyway we'll just get these guys to gather some of these resources and put them in here and there we go go ahead and build ourselves a depot as well this guy can be built pretty much anywhere i'm gonna build him around the sort of center here as well because this is basically like your warehouse and um you know, it's just basically for storage of resources and whatnot. We can go ahead and, re and speed up time a little bit now. All right, research is... Let's get this other little side bits before we go on anymore. So we can now get the drone factory. Oh, the battery factory and the drone factory. I sh I'm my mistake, sorry. We can now get both of these things. And again, this thing is like the plastic factory is massive, right? But that's fine, because we've got a pipe net going down this way, so we'll just carry on going down this way. Um, new people have arrived at your colony. Accept them. Okay, cool. All right. So we get the battery factory set up there. Once they get rid of those little bits of sponge. And then we get the drone factory set up somewhere nearby as well. This guy needs power and all sorts of stuff, so... We'll get him set up, and then basically we'll have a nice little industrial sector down here, and then everything everybody lives up at the at the top. Basically, it's very lovely. There we go. Battery factory is complete. So now we just need to line up a pipe, and there we go. It is connected, and it will now be taking plastic and electricity. Plastic, I think we need to crank the production value up on which means it's going to take more sponges and fuel this thing is producing 216 fuel actually so let's just go ahead and go production boost optimization and expansion and that means that it's now producing 432 plastics but it's using 216 sponges uh so last month we produced 68 <laughs> uh -uh. i think we're going to need to increase our sponge collection <laughs> this guy isn't going to cut it Unfortunately, we're going to need to increase the production there. So we can do the same thing here. We can do production boost, building radius, expansion. We can even do production boost too. But um, let's go ahead and get another sponge collector anyway. So again, we do the same thing. We're trying to figure out where the most efficient position is for these guys. Like there looks good to me. 107. Well, that's 110. Go ahead and place him there then. Oh, three new drones. Fifteen drones. Three new drones. I'll take that. Hell yeah. Right, so just the drone factory now needs producing. Go ahead and place him there. Okay, so like we get a little ship that comes in, picks a load of stuff up from the, the, the city hall thing there. And then goes and takes it to the drops it off at the depot, like two meters away. <laughs> But this is basically where everybody's works from, so you just be back and forth going, oh, I'll pick all of that up. It's pretty cool detail, really. I like it. Bloop. <laughs> nice. Animations are pretty good.
All right, so we've got the Deco Banner. Let's get Oil Imperium combo. Let's get that going. And then we're on the Sea Hunter's Lodge and Plastification combo. And this thing is a plastic factory in proximity of drone factory gains 10% production boost. Ah, man. Well, there we go. Never mind. I should have put him over here. Can I move him? Can I move him? Not quite so easy, I don't think. But we can demolish him. And demolish the building. It refunded that. And then we can put him over here. It'll be on the crude oil, but it's it's okay. We'll figure out we'll work around it. There we go. Proximity of a plastic factory. Get it done, boys. We've got our first beautification. Gonna put some banners up here. You know, just to remind them who's in charge. That's right. You're in Atlantis now. <laughs> Underwater paradise. Don't forget it. <laughs> All right, our crude oil production is at zero at the moment, so we're making exactly the right amount of crude oil. So we're going to go ahead and preemptively build another crude oil place. We're going to possibly test our power grid, but we are plus 20 at the moment in balance, so it should be okay. And like everything else, we're going to need to pipe this up. So... Go ahead and grab that and place that. There we go. And now we're up to plus 120 crude oil production. Lovely. Very good. Got to keep an eye on these things, I tell you. And there's our drone factory as well. Um, so that produces a drone in 25 days, basically. So we won't see a massive, like, surge of extra drones, but it will be enough, hopefully, to keep us from shutting down production. All right, looking at the next research, we've just got the Sea Hunter's Lodge, and then there's a Trident combo if you place them next to a Fisherman's Hub. All right, we got to get underwater fields as well. Let's go ahead and place uh, food production, Sea Hunter's Lodge. Oh, this is a big, big chappy, isn't it? Because there's the fisherman dude there. So if we place him right there, then he's in proximity, yeah? Big, isn't it? Oh, the models are beautiful, though, aren't they? Look at these assets. Stunning. Very nice. This needs to be linked to... Oxygen production. Alrighty. We're going to have to run a pipe. Right through the middle of town. Get, um, get comfortable with laying pipe everywhere, by the way, guys. It happens a lot. You are going to end up with a city of random pipes all over the shop let's go ahead and preemptively get some more houses in here i'm just basically going to do the same here but i'm going to rotate them around like that oh my flags are in the way look all right that's fine can we can we rotate them no they are perfectly square okay well we'll put this is awkward isn't it these bloody flags there no 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 crap no uh balls Clear buildings and resources. How do I do that? There we go. It was out of alignment, right? I wouldn't think you'd understand. Right, so the point is we should have plenty of houses for a little while anyway. Alright, so that's the Sea Hunters Trident combo there. We've now got underwater fields, so let's go ahead and increase our food production even more. Because look, it's down 132 now and it's fluctuating hard. So this is one of the reasons to set up in a very fertile area. Fields. Right, there's one field, just to give you an idea of size. So let's go ahead and get these guys in a little bit more efficiently. One. Two fields right there. I don't think these guys need any connection to the grid or anything. Workers on route from HQ. Three, more workers, I'll take it. All right, but then we need to assign crops. And at the moment, we've only got sea seaweed and cucumber. So I'm just going to set them on a swappy, swappy, croppy, croppy, thingy, bajiggy. You know, whatever it's called. Uh, so that can start with, hello. Um, cool. Accept them. Sea cucumber, cucumber and seaweed. There we go. One, two fields producing sea cucumber each rotation. I don't know what's better, sea cucumber or what. So this guy's down. Why? Resources required in production are missing. Ooh, oxygen is down. Let's give you a production boost and an optimization. 
Whew, let's give you another production boost. <laughs> I love that you could just do that. Right. Optimize, optimize, boost, optimize, boost, boost. Stay away. Just to get yourself out of like trouble of everyone suffocating to death all of a sudden. Uh, but that does mean we're probably going to need another oxygen station soon. Right. How's our research looking? We're like hammering through it pretty quickly, right? Raw food, see. So global improvements that increase production of raw seafood by 10%. Seaweed, oyster, mussels, sea sound, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, right, right. In improve, improve food production. That's great. Do it. Make it so. Everything else seems pretty happy right now. We've got no exclamation marks going up, but we've got to watch that food. It's 102. Food variety stuff is starting to complain now um, because we're only at tier one food. So we're definitely concentrating on it, though. Global improvements that reduce the consumption of seaweed, oyster, blah, 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 blah. So let's go straight for that one as well. They should hopefully... Oh, my God. So the farms take a while to get going. It might be... We've got two gathering places. It might be worth getting another fisherman's hut in here somewhere to offset some of this food production. I pressed the wrong button there. I know, I know, I know. Pipeline is leaking. We got a leaky pipeline, people. Yeah, we do. Repair the socket. All right. There we go. Nailed it. 89 food. Let's get this guy built. Let's see if we can improve production. Production, optimize, expansion. Production, optimize. <laughs> You're a spongy thing, right? Big baskets. Expansion one. Big baskets two. Big baskets, expansion, and big baskets. Two. Four pla 400 plastic. Lovely. Optimization. Expansion. Boost. Production boost two. Optimization two. Expansion done. Fully upgraded. All right. I'm hoping that's going to keep the food situation under control for a while. Fortunately, we had enough plastic. Thanks to HQ for sending us a bunch of plastic to, uh, and, and credits to upgrade a lot of this stuff. It wasn't too much of a big deal. Close shop and then property taxes. We are going to need another dome soon. So that we can build more houses and stuff. Fortunately, their footprint down here is quite small, even if their footprint up here is huge. Our energy grid is good with these tur um, tidal turbines. Doing a wonderful job. Sponge is low. What's this? No drones for work. Ah, crap. Another drone in. Let's get, um, get a production boost then, yeah? On the drone factory. 27 days for another drone. Shit. Yeah. We got to outgrew our drone supply. Not good. Bad times. I don't even know what that was. I think it was adding extra. Yeah. It was adding extra dudes to the food production. To be honest, I'm happy. We're back up to 186. That's really taken off now. Let's just wait for some drones to turn up. Whew. At eight times speed, it gets a little intense. <laughs> All right, we got property tax research. Now we can uh, research the subsurface base. Remember, the subsurface base is basically our town hall. It's this guy right here. Directives. Property tax. Just to give you an idea of all the directives that you can uh, apply. Loads of stuff. Secular society. Mariculture boost. Engineer income. Trade. Bee cut. Pub influence. I mean, yeah. I can't wait to get into the more complicated like levels of this this game. It's it's already like just getting going. Really, quite fun and exciting. We're gonna have pubs and stuff. Really, I want to expand more up here. So we should now have a clothing shop. There it is. We have a shopping district here in our. Just the one shop, mine, so I hope you like the clothes they produce. If you don't, tough. <laughs> deal with it. You're a grown-ass person, deal with it. Right, um, can we place one there and then one on the back? No, I don't think we can. Literally, there's going to be room for one there, isn't there? And one there. This is a terrible layout that I have, I have resigned myself to. They can fit houses there, but it's like super cramming them in. And don't forget, obviously, we've got, like, the beautification stuff, so we want to leave some space in here for some of that. All right. Uh, I think we've got a leak. 
We got a leak. Makes a big noise when there's a leak. Uh, so yeah, the fuel I think is used a lot to heat people's suits and homes and stuff. So, all right, our electricity grid is down. Let's get another couple of turbines in here. Oh no, look at that little naggy bit there. Can I place it there anyway? It doesn't let me. Babe! <laughs> we'll go the other way then, yeah? Into the crude oil. Um, new people. Good, because I just built new houses, so that's actually good timing. Still don't have any spare drones. What is taking you so long, huh? I thought you had a production boost. I guess he went straight to work. And, of course, there's no drones to actually build these turbines, is there? Right, nobody use any more electricity. Yeah? No, nothing. That's it. So you're allowed until we get another drone. <laughs> or five. <laughs> Bugger. All right, while we wait for this uh, situation to fix itself, there's something else you can do with your buildings here. You can actually paint them different colors. So you've got a, a sort of limited color palette to choose from, but various details that you can go into. So you can make them super fun delicious if you like. Um, I think, like, what I would like to do is turn all sort of production buildings, like fossil fuel buildings, I suppose, into, like, red detail with, like, black. Yeah, like that, like that. Ooh, insidious. <laughs> oh, hey, they built uh, one of the things. That's sweet. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that corner and link that up. That corner and link you up. And there we go, 204 electricity. Good. Sweet. Uh, but yeah, once you've painted a building, you can then apply to all or apply to a type. If you've got multiples of the same building, for example, we've got multiple gatherer places here. So let's give these guys like a nice sort of green highlight, I'd say. Green and white. Uh, a little bit more green than that. Mm, a little bit less green than that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that was a good compromise. So you can apply to all. Ah, crap. No, apply to type is what I meant to press. Crap. Well, everything's green now, I guess. Yay. <laughs> no. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, there we go anyway. It doesn't really matter. Um, the point is you can you can color stuff, and it's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got subservice base 2. We've got any production. Let's get house 2 as well, so we can actually upgrade these guys. But can we... Oh, it does automatically upgrade the base as well. That's lovely. Okay, super. Our food is absolutely skyrocketed. One point, uh, 1,250. Now, that's wonderful. Uh, we still have a very limited drone supply, though. So, um, as we go forward, we really need HQ to send us more drones, is what we need. Because <laughs> I don't know if... Um, well, it, it, the thing is, like, I could maybe build another drone factory, but who's going to run it? So... Uh, leaky pipeline. Repair it. Alright, so one of the most important buildings from another game similar to this is the trade post here. Go ahead and place that down. I'm going to place that down over here. That is a mighty trade post, in fairness. It's going to cut down a lot of the sponges that my sponge collector here was, was working on, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. They'll figure out new places to put them. He's in the town center. Yeah, they, they they plant them around the collectors after they've collected the ones, I guess. No space in stock. Uh-oh. Produce medicine. Build a clinic to supply your citizens. Produce basic goods. Oh my god, dudes. Literally, I just got a trade post and they were like, Oh, we want stuff. My god. What is wrong with these people? No space in stock, though. That's bad. I think... Really? Um... Uh, I guess it's full? Oh yeah, Christ it is. All right, let's build another depot then. No big deal. Depot. Wrong button. Two depots. It's all good. Right, here we go. Trade post then. Um, the UI is a little less friendly <laughs> than perhaps we're used to. Um, right, that's all very light. Let me just study this for a second because it's literally the first time I've seen this. Oh, oxygen. Crap. Hang on, before we do anything more, you are already at maximum boostage, aren't you? Yeah, Oxygen! Yeah, it was always going to be freaking oxygen, wasn't it? The pesky bugger. Okay, we'll put oxygen up here because there's a pipeline that goes there. 
What are you complaining about? You're missing oxygen. Uh, can we have this, like, maximum priority, please, drones? Let's go. Okay, while you do that, let's have a look at this. Right. So we can buy and sell. The fee is 20%, the price down here, and the quantity. So, for example, now that our food is, like, crazy good, um, we could sell some mussels, for example. Right. Wait for trade ship. Ah, for crying out loud! <laughs> oh, sell my, selling... 100 muscles and buying 20 decoration. Okay, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for a trade ship then. I, I thought that was. Does it tell us when trade ship arrives? I guess that's that progress bar there, isn't it? There's a little animation here with a little spinny spinny. Okay. Waiting, wait for trade ship. We'll wait for a trade ship, yeah. Smeggy, make face. In the meantime, we need to pipe up that oxygen. There we go. Power's good, oxygen's good. Everything's good, apart from the trade post. That's not good. <laughs> Everybody's complaining they don't have stuff. Iron mine, let's go. All right, we've just researched and unlocked the iron mine. And uh, we can move it around to various places and we can see its efficiency, just like other buildings. So like over here, um, in the oil fields, only 58%. And by these rocks where I thought they would be Iron rocks is only 50%. However, just over here, behind our battery factory, it's 100% efficient. So I think this little color here, which looks like teal to me, I don't know, is apparently the pink. The pink that we're missing. 100% efficient iron mine. Plop it down. Let's get it built. These people are still complaining about producing medicine. I mean, I can't. I can't produce... Something I don't have the ability to produce yet, you smeggy smeggers. However, we can upgrade their houses by somewhat protest to tier two and give them insulation, which means that they use less fuel as well. There we go. Could have, uh, hopefully, a trade ship soon. Oh, look at that! Trade post is here. Can we pause? I think. I'm not seeing a trade ship there at all, but it doesn't say wait for trade ship, so... Maybe... It's in? Yeah, look, the trade button is highlighted. I can sell, sell 100 of my muscles, and I can buy... 20 decorations and it costs me nothing lovely and that's it oh really i get one shot <laughs> i get one shot and that's it trade done decoration zero i'm hoping they've already been moved from the freaking place despite the fact that the game was paused my god luxury goods Clothes, furniture, decoration zero. This guy ripped me off. He took a hundred of my muscles and I didn't get any decorations. I feel absolutely ripped off. Yeah, this trade panel needs work. It's very, it's not clear at all. Anyway, um, I was hoping that there would be a big, nice big animation. Some stupid big ship would, or, you know, submarine or something would come in, dock on it. Um, you know, but there we go, whatever. It's early access, it's an alpha version of the game, and I have to say, for an alpha version, um, it looks really good. And uh, a lot of the UI and stuff is really, really nice. It needs Some of it needs some work and whatnot, of course, but uh, that's to be expected in this early stage of the game. Uh, in any case, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. That is going to be all from Aquatico today. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this brand new... Ah, crap. Um, <laughs> brand new game. Aquatico. Eh? No, no, it's not a production boost. Uh, anyway, I'll deal with that later. Um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. It should be, like I said at the beginning of the episode, it should be a demo out on Steam. I'll link it if so uh, down below in the video description so you don't have to go rooting around for it. 
Um, but yeah, plays a lot like Farthest Frontier underwater. And, um, well, you know how I felt about that game. So I think you can guess my feelings on this one. I am loving it. It's awesome. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.